हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माई दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस रिएक्ट ट्यूटोरियल माई टॉपिक इज बूट स्टैप सो गाइस बूट स्टैप इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड इफ यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज बूट स्टैप सो बूट स्टैप इज द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ सी एस एस एंड हेयर जस्ट आई एम एजूमिंग यू नो सी एस एस बट इफ यू डोंट नो फ्रेमवर्क सो दैट आई विल लिटिल बीट ऑफ गिव यू आइडिया सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल शो यू द प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर हेयर यू कैन सी द प्रीव्यू ओके एंड इन साइड दिस प्रीव्यू यू कैन सी इट शोइंग आई एम अ ब्लॉक कंपोनेंट सो इफ आई गो टू माई प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर this is visual studio code editor and here this is my project structure so inside the source folder here i have created three components about block and home and if you don't know what is component so you have to watch my previous all the tutorial so you have to go to my channel and there you will find react tutorial inside the playlist okay so you have to check this playlist and you have to watch all the tutorial step by step okay then all the idea will be clear okay so here I have created three components already, but I'm displaying here only the block component. Okay, this one. Okay, so I will open the block component. And my previous video, I have discussed how you can use CSS in React. So I will open the JS file of block component and the CSS file. Okay, so guys, now just I will give you the brief idea about framework because when you, I will show you the bootstrap. So bootstrap is the framework. So you should be know. before using bootstrap you should be know the what is framework right so framework is nothing we write the css say, here you can see here i have written some css that is actually inline css okay so guys same thing here i can use like different way so that i have already had shown okay so what i will do just here i will create another tag that is called h2 tag okay and here just simply i will write block component okay this one and i will just save this one so if i go to the browser so here you can see it's showing block component so here now guys i want to add some css for this so what i will do so once this way you can add other otherwise you can add inside this css file so now i will add inside this css file okay so this block component as a reference this class name i will copy add and h2 tag okay so here suppose i want to add the color Uh, color is blue okay so this is actually i have added color and the font size font size is suppose 20 pixel right so if i go to the browser so now it is just compiling you can see here it will take little time to compile here and after that i will just go to the browser here you can see so here it's added you can see the blue color and the 20 pixel of font size right so here now i have written two custom css property color and the font size okay but guys what bootstrap does so this thing suppose this thing it's already made in bootstrap so you don't have to write it customize it right just you have to copy the class name and you have to add here means already made it is already made in bootstrap just you have to add the class name so that is actually bootstrap i mean it is a framework okay every framework means it is same already made just you have to use this one right so that is framework so i hope framework idea is clear if you have any doubt so you can connect with me in instagram or in comment section of this video right don't send me a mail so here just i will remove this one so framework idea is clear now the main motive of this video is bootstrap so here i'll remove this one and just i'll close this one okay i'll keep the js file because here i will use bootstrap so same way here i had shown you like some h2 tag and i had added the color and font size right but guys in bootstrap there is the class container okay so container class what it does like it add some space in left and right so now i have an any bootstrap in this application so if i use container class like if i show here deep class name container this video will may be long but guys all idea i can give you the guarantee this that is all idea will be clear here okay so here if i add this so this is actually bootstrap class right this container and what it does so inside this container class here it's already written some css property which will give you some space in left and right okay so now here 
I already saved and if I check here, so here you can see here it's no space in left and right because now I haven't used bootstrap. So that's why bootstrap class is not working. And now I will show you the how can you use bootstrap. So guys, very simple it is how you use bootstrap in normal HTML. Simply I will write bootstrap 5 download. Okay, 5 version I will download. If you want to download in the 4 version bootstrap 4, so you can do it. Whatever you want, you can do it. I'm showing here the version 5. Okay, just simply I will click download. By the way, this link I will provide in the description okay so it's open the bootstrap 5 version here you can see in the top right corner that is bootstrap version 5 okay from here you can change any version you can see here the version 6 as well it's depend on you totally so now i will just download okay simply i will download so you can see it's downloaded so i'll just go to the download here and what i'll do just first i will extract this one so here extract okay same step you have to follow okay and i will just delete this one because this zip file it's not needed now and now bootstrap so if i open this so here is the css file and here is different kind of css and here i hope you know we use mainly bootstrap min.css and for the js part we use bootstrap min.js this one okay and now guys here what I will do just this folder name I will write simply bootstrap okay what why I have changed the folder name that you can understand also so I will just cut this folder from here okay and now I will go to my react application react application means this folder okay so here so after that just here I will come and this is my react folder and here you will find public folder and inside this public folder just simply you have to paste this bootstrap folder which i have already cut okay and now it is done and i will come here and simply here i will open the public folder so here you can see it is bootstrap folder is added because here i have already paste here i hope up to that it is clear and now guys here you will find index.html so you have to open that one and after that here you will find like this okay so here you have to scroll down and just here you can see this is close head tag so just above the close head tag you have to write link relation style sheet okay it is very easy thing if you have the normal html bootstrap knowledge so same thing i'm doing here and after that href and here i have to link so dot slash you can see after using dot slash i'm getting this bootstrap folder after that css part because in head tag we use i mean we just add the css part and i already said which css part i have to add that is bootstrap main.css so here this one okay and i will close this link it is clear guys and after that same way it is just above the close head tag same way above the close of body tag you have to add the js file of bootstrap so script source here like this and after that same way i will use bootstrap but in case here it is js so js folder and after that you have to find min.js this one okay it is clear so i will just save this one okay and now i will close this index.html file because it is done now no need to that and now here i will go to the bootstrap official site and this link i will provide and here you will get different kind of bootstrap component okay so here you can see containers like this so different kind of bootstrap you will get so this is container class which i was talking about the earlier okay so here i have used the container class already you can see now just i have implemented the bootstrap so i will check it container class just affect it in here or not so i'll go to the browser so here you can see now it's added some space in left and right means bootstrap is implemented 
and this container class it's only for CSS okay some CSS property it's written inside this container class that is that is for something uh, left uh, something uh, space in left and right okay and that is workable you can see here means bootstrap is implemented now guys here I will check the JS part okay so here just I will come uh, I will take some component uh, where it used JS so here component okay accordion accordion it used bootstrap js because here you can see the clickable functionality okay means here it is used some js so what i will do just i will copy this accordion code okay here is the copy icon i mean copy button i will click this one it is copied already and just here i will come and just below the h1 tag here i will paste this accordion component okay i have pasted this accordion component i have to save this one and i have to check it in browser so see accordion is added now if i click so see it is working means bootstrap it's added in react perfectly so this is the one way you can add bootstrap okay i hope guys you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something and guys if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more update so please subscribe my channel also and next video guys same thing i will show you how you can use using npm guys because boot uh, no react angular those are the we use node okay so uh, the here i will show you how you can use the bootstrap same bootstrap using npm okay so wait for the next video until watch this one